things when I twist these fingers. Me and you being on a first name basis. Why you think I hate it when you talk that great shit? Same reason that you never left me hanging. Same reason that I tried to make you famous. Same reason that I tried to show you just. Hey besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel you guys. If you're new here, I'm Zaria. So before we get into today's video, of course, this portion of the video is sponsored. So this portion of the video is sponsored by Teddy Blake, you guys. If you guys don't know what Teddy Blake is, it's a luxury handbag company. This is not a replica. This is a real bag that they decided to send your girl. So this is what the packaging looks like. Very minimalist, very cute. It just says Teddy Blake, New York on top. And then you open it and it just says Teddy Blake designer bags made in Italy, luxury leather. So the bag that they sent me is this one. I don't really know the name of it. I will of course put everything that you guys need to know on the screen as well as in the description bar. But this is the bag that they sent me you guys. It's like a blush pink bag. It's super cute. It puts me in the mind of like a Birkin bag, like the overall style of it. So this is some up close. This is what it looks like you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up because I got this package I think Friday. Today is Monday and I haven't even like opened it up or like looked inside or nothing. Like Alright besties, so I added the scrap onto the bag it's just really super i wanted to tell y'all the name of this bag so i had to go back and look on at my email so it's the giorgio palmetto gold 14 inch pink bag so it's pink and gold y'all the hardware is so cute i was actually thinking about doing a giveaway on this bag but let me know if this is something that you guys would want you know focus on our giveaway for 20k on youtube but yeah y'all this is her super cute and the link to this bag will be down below in the description bar. Thank you to Teddy Blake for sponsoring this portion of the video, besties. Let's get right into our vlog. Hey, babes. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, you guys. So today is Saturday. So it's about 1030 in the morning. My husband has to work today, so I'm up super early to go run some errands. I need some skincare stuff. Not skincare, body care stuff. I need to burn by Walmart. So we're just going to run a few errands, and we're going to come home. And, you know, we're going to go through the motions, y'all. So welcome to another vlog. Thank you guys for tuning in and let's go not me forgetting to say my prayer thank you lord for this day as i get ready to leave i pray that you keep me safe keep me protected let me make it to my destination safely and back home safely in the name of jesus we pray amen now we can go Ugh. okay y'all so smelling candles and y'all know i love coffee so i see coffee scented candles so i grab it the candle has already been burned so I take it to the front and the candle's like $12.99. So I'm like, this, I love this candle, but it's already been burnt. And it's the only one that y'all have back there. And she was like, we can do 10% off and it'll be final sale. I just don't, I don't feel like that's fair. And when I say it was burnt, like it was burnt a good, like bit. And she was like, it's going to be 10% off. So you know what I did? I left. Y'all not gonna rip me off. That's not fair. Somebody already burned this candle. You could have did at least 40%. Like, but yeah, we finna head home. It's 11:10. CJ has to go to work today, so I want to go ahead and go home, cook for him before he goes to work. I kind of want to go to Starbucks, but also I'm on like a Starbucks cleanse, and not spending money on coffee. But I don't know. We might spend a block. We finna see. I'm finna ask him if he wants some Starbucks. If he wants Starbucks, I'm gonna go to Starbucks. But what's up, bud? Um, hi. Can I have your mocha cookie crunch uh, in a grande? And then anything else? Yes. Can I also have a grande caramel ribbon crunch? And that's all. All right, eleven ninety. Thank you. I haven't been coming to Starbucks because I was like, you know, Starbucks is so expensive, and I like making my own coffee at home. But today, I kind of just wanted to treat myself. Why is my camera so dark? Yeah, I wanted to just treat myself today, so I'm getting Starbucks. So I asked y'all a couple of vlogs ago if y'all wanted like some hauls and stuff like that, just cause it's not like the typical content that I put out. And y'all did say y'all wanted some hauls. So this morning I was up working on like a Fashion Nova card so that I could get that stuff ordered and do like a fall haul. I gotta show y'all my outfit of the day because I feel like it screams fall. Like it's just so cute and the hair just throw it all together. But I'm just really getting the fall vibes. All the trees around my house are changing colors and I'm really just getting into the vibes. Oh, I gotta show y'all what I got from Ross. So like I said, I smelled this candle that I really wanted and it was like a coffee scented candle. It was orange it was it smelled so good but they wouldn't let me get a good for a good price so i was like nah and then i just got these little towels to put on my stove 
and it just says give thanks and then it's like two of them in there one of them is just striped but I thought that was just some cute to put in my kitchen because I wanted me some towels when I first went fall shopping but I went shopping at Hobby Lobby and they didn't have no towels in there so yeah and then I also from Walmart I got some um let me show y'all I got two pumpkins one for Carter, one for Kate, because Carter loves to do like arts and crafts type stuff. So later today, we gonna go outside, we gonna paint, we gonna paint these pumpkins. We got some stickers, but we can put like little faces on the pumpkins. Just something cute, something fun to do with the kids. And yeah, like I said, today is a work day for CJ, so we gonna be in the house, baby. Y'all know when he at work, we is in the house. But yeah. Um. Oh, I also got this melatonin. Um sleep soap i love this stuff for the kids i had got the oil too but when i got to the register the oil was leaking so i put it back but yeah i'm getting that because i don't know the boys they don't it's not like they don't be one they don't they'll be sleepy but they don't want to go to sleep and i used to use this all the time for them like every night and it just helped them relax i don't really think it's like melatonin that's gonna put them to sleep but i think it just helped them like relax so and wind down so when they get in the bed they're not just fighting they sleep they just go ahead and go to bed so yeah i got some of that because child i don't be feeling like tussling with my kids starbucks is being so freaking slow today it's 11 24 they need to hurry up i gotta go home clean this chicken air fry it put the sauce on it put it in the oven they need to hurry up uh, 1190 today here you go thank you damn come on with the drinks bro thank you you too okay y'all got the drinks now i'm gonna head to the house because like i said cj gotta go to work so i gotta cook and everything i don't have to cook get it right i want to cook okay bestie so i'm at home i'm about i already made my chicken wings i air fried them i already coated them in the sauce these buffalo and then these four over here barbecue because i don't really like I don't really like super spicy stuff, so I made me like two buffalo and then two um barbecue, and then CJ eat the rest. I don't eat a lot, y'all. I don't know if y'all can tell. I don't eat a lot, but I'm gonna go ahead, put them inside the oven for like I'm probably gonna do like ten minutes. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in here. All right, babes. So I'm at home, and I realized I said I was gonna show y'all my outfit, and I really wanted to show y'all because it's like some that I like really like low-key normally don't wear um if y'all haven't noticed i'm not a tennis shoe girly like i just don't know i've never been <gasps> my reflection right there in the mirror i mean in the tv just scared me so bad devil please go please go got me around here scared of my own damn reflection in the mirror god i thought somebody i thought i thought somebody was behind me okay I'm looking for my tripod so I can sit my camera up and show y'all before the boys wake up. Cause the boys taking a nap right now. So where is my tripod? Like really. Necklace on from Silvax that say my name. My mama bought me this little hanging chain. So I don't know where that's from. And then so I'm wearing this little brown crop tee from Wild Fable brand at Target. This shirt right here, I got this last year on Fashion Over Me and y'all. It was like $5 cause it was on sale. But it's just like a flannel and I thought it was so cute and it matched my hair and just the whole vibe of the clothes, the outfit, whatever. So these little cut up jeans, these from washing over. And then they cut in the back too. So it gives my feel like really hoochie vibes. And then for my shoes, I don't even know what they call. They call some Levi's. They some Levi Jordan or something. But I'm wearing these and then I carry this bag right here. Okay y'all, so I know I'm crazy. Letting these kids paint in my living room with acrylic paint. But this is what we doing. We doing pumpkin crafts. It's a town. I know. Hey babes, welcome to another day in this vlog, you guys. So it's Sunday and I skip Sunday recess, skip Sunday dinner, and instead we're having a family day. So we are at five below, giving the kids a little yes day. They just picking up a little bit of everything per usual every time we come in and stuff. I don't know why he on that skateboard because I'm not going to the um, emergency room tonight. We'll not be utilizing that. So, yeah. Come on. Put that skateboard down. We is not going to the emergency room tonight. Come on. For real. Come on. No, I'm not buying a skateboard. This is so cute. 
We're not buying a skateboard, seriously. Come on, camera. And we still gotta go to Old Navy, so y'all need to come on. But yeah, you know, that's tea. Oh, eight down on the wig and stuff. Yeah, but I'm gonna talk to y'all when we get in the car and watch my kiddos. In Target, I don't know why we practicing for new babies and things, baby. No. And not him in there laying down. Get out them folks' crib. Let's go. Carter, you definitely get down. <laughs> I wanna get in. No, I'm at home, and I just got done cooking dinner, y'all. So I made some meatloaf, some cabbage, some homemade yeah. mashed potatoes. Yeah. I love my homemade mashed potatoes. Fun fact that literally nobody knows, y'all. When I was, yeah. When I was um, pregnant with Carter and Kay, like every, like I'm pretty sure everybody know I loved fried bologna when I was pregnant with Carter. And with Kay, I loved um, whipped cream. But I had like cravings that was kind of embarrassing. Like with Carter. She wanted to eat Thai bars and ice. No, I didn't. I would eat butter straight. Like I would go get a stick of butter in the middle of the night and just gnaw down on it. And then with Kay, y'all, literally, I would go to Walmart and I would buy me a thing of sour cream. And then I ended up seeing the sour cream with the little nozzle on it like that. And I could just lay up and squeeze the sour cream into my mouth. Um, and then I started I putting sour cream I put in No. <laughs> then I started getting sour cream and putting like the little ranch dip packs inside the sour cream and like even with chips, burgers, candy, anything y'all. Fun fact, your girl was a bit crazy when I was pregnant. But yeah. I just made dinner and now I'm finna eat and then get ready to upload my day in the lives. And then we're going to reset the house, put the kids to bed, and then we're gonna catch up. So yeah, let's go. Alright bestie, so I literally just got in my car, you guys. I'm about to go to Target. I was gonna go to Burlington, but Burlington just gave me sketchy vibes. And I told my husband, I was like, come on, babe, let's go to the store. We literally need deodorant. We need a few things from Target. This man was like, no, babe, you go go and spend go spend some time alone. I wanna stay home and watch the boys. Said no dad ever. He wanna stay at home and play 2K, which is fine with me. So I'm gonna go to Target and then Carter wants pizza for dinner, so the whole family's getting pizza for dinner. Simple. It's a Monday night simple 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 so yeah we're gonna go to target enjoy the vibes pick up a few things and then yeah let's go before we go lord thank you for this day as i get ready to leave i pray that you keep me safe keep me protected let me make it to my destination safely and back home safely in the name of jesus we pray amen now we can go i ride wave ate this album like this like girls for real deal now we watching it on roku so I'm at Target, I'm looking at some stuff for the kids, but the weather is just not it. For the type of stuff they have out, like flannels, sweatshirts, my kids will melt, like it's just not it. So. I know it's dab and it's cup hands, the next one begins. My babe, you know me, and you knew me back then, and you know how. These are very much so the same thing. Why the hell is one dark brown and one is light brown? Is it old? Like, what is it? You a little post so baby. You a little 48 baby. Got it. Okay, babe. So I basically just went like hygiene shopping. I'll give y'all a haul when I get home, but I couldn't film much because I forgot before I left home I was exporting some footage like to edit a vlog. And I didn't have my camera plugged up, so my camera is all about to die. My camera has one bar. So I got a few clips, but nothing too much. I wanted to talk more because I'm feeling way more like confident with vlogging in public, but my camera's dead, so. That's T. So I'm finna, um, Carter want this pizza, baby, so I'm gonna get this pizza. And we're finna go home. And yeah, so I'll see you guys. I will see you guys when we get home. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a little bit of Target haul so that y'all can see what I got earlier from the store. So the first thing we got, I just got some um, tampons because I know I don't have many left from last month, so I just grabbed a new box. I got these paper mate pens, y'all. I content plan with these pens, and I like them because first of all, they're only five dollars. There's a ton of colors, and then each color comes with two, and then it's just easy to plan and do things by like color, so kind of like color coordinate. This a uh, two pack of deodorant. I got, so I saw that Tree Hut had like their fall stuff out. So I went ahead and grabbed two of those items. So I got the Cinnamon Dulce Foaming Shower Gel. And I smelled the scrub in the store and the scrub smells so good. So originally, oh, I had this and the scrub. But I doubled back, y'all, and I saw this one, the iced coffee scrub. 
so it was this one over the cinnamon dose like so fast i wish they would have had this in a um in a body wash too because i would have gotten it like it smells oh it smells so good y'all i don't even know how to explain it like just go to your local target snip it and get it because it smells so good so i got me a nyx butter gloss i usually get the color madeline why is the seal broken who did this ghetto ass shit hopefully maybe i'll take it back because i don't play about play around about my lips but this one is the, in the color fortune cookie like i said i usually get color madeline but they didn't have that today so then i grabbed another monostat uh wash and one of my babes told me a while ago that whenever I see that, I need to be grabbing like two because they said they sell out really fast. Every time I go, there's either none or like one. So I got the last one off the shelf today. So yeah, and I just ran out of my last bottle and I love it, y'all. It has work acid in it, 10 out of 10. So then the last thing I got was the Shea EOS Vanilla Cashmere. Y'all know this is literally my signature lotion. I use this every single day. And my last bottle, I'm like having to screw the cap off and beat it in my hand. And that's just ghetto. So I had to give me another bottle. So yeah, that's my little hygiene haul. Hey besties, so I know I've changed my wig like a million times in this video, but I am tapping into like my wig influencer bags. I keep having to change wigs for different photos and products and videos. So that's that y'all. Back to the big um ginger hair. So it's 1026 you guys. It's Monday morning and I have a new series that I want to start on my channel and it's going to be called Pillow Talk. Instead of calling it like Girl Talk, we're just going to call it Pillow Talk where basically I'm just sitting in my bed and I'm just talking to y'all about, you know, stuff that I have going on and just talking to y'all in general so i've just been wanting to do like a little like sit down video kind of chat with y'all because i've been getting like a lot of questions a lot of dms a lot of comments and it's just a mixture of things that i want to like hit on and talk to y'all about so a lot of people will be like you inspire me like you're only 23 and something that i noticed recently is that a lot of my viewers are older like i have people that's like 40 50 viewing me which i never thought i would and there's a lot of moms who watch me and they'll say like oh you know you inspire me to get up every day clean up show up for myself show up my, for my family be more presentable every time i step out the house i want to smell good with my scent of the day i want to do my hair i want to put on something cute because it's true when you look good you feel good and y'all don't know how much like i don't understand like the impact that has on me like when i get all of this positive feedback and i see people saying like i inspired them i made their day i have made their little like literally made their life better they have routines now they'll say i get up every day now and i make up my bed i get dressed i don't just pour into my kids i also pour into myself and i'm telling y'all because as a mama you have to also pour into yourself because before you was ever a mama you was still just you was you was you so you got to make time for yourself the thing you did was put on a cute outfit and put on some blush you did something for yourself when it comes to me every time you see my kids they're gonna look good they're gonna look presentable but also me i'm gonna get up i'm gonna I make myself look nice and presentable because i'm not only a reflection of them I'm a reflection of me like I want to look good when I look good I feel good so when y'all send me DMs and stuff saying that I inspire you and I have inspired you to start like having a daily routine and clean up and close the house at night time so you wake up to a clean house and just y'all it just makes me feel good like it makes me feel good and it makes me feel like I have a purpose for what I'm doing like when I first started making content what I really wanted was for to like connect with other moms which i have so many like mom friends now it's crazy that i just have all these mom friends on the internet and we like connect with each other and this is exactly what i wanted like i wanted to build my community of people y'all and not only that but literally just this morning um a girl reached out to me um on instagram and she dm me about how she's young she has a baby her and her boyfriend wants to get married and everybody's talking you know down on them and she kind of know like from watching me on social media that i got married when i was young and how all of that went so she wanted to ask me for advice y'all that makes me feel so good now i am a big sister i have a younger sister y'all but my younger sister she's very much so on the same type of stuff that i'm on very much so an entrepreneur um she started her business um when COVID started but she's been she's very successful for her age she's very successful and she also has a youtube channel that's doing very well so my little sister like if me and her talk it's just typically about like content stuff 
my sister really don't be coming to me for no like relationship advice and stuff like that because my sister is not like on that type of time like getting married if she was she would come to me but she not so if it, it makes me y'all when i read that message when i tell y'all i had like the biggest smile on my face and i was just honestly so excited that wow she felt comfortable enough to share her personal business with me to reach out to me for advice like it just made me feel good it makes me just feel like i have a purpose but like my father-in-law always say with every day comes a night so with every positive is gonna come a negative and now every now and again i get like negative comments where people would be like i'm gonna I'm insert a screenshot of when i got yesterday and it basically was like it's amazing what you can do from being a stay-at-home bum and living off the internet when i tell y'all content creating is work it's literally work so i work for a company where i make ugc videos this past month y'all i made 22 videos for them so i was working 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 um filming editing and i don't try to take time away from my kids so i stay up late to film this content y'all it's work you have to edit the videos upload the videos and for youtube don't even get me started youtube is a whole headache when it comes to editing so i hate when people try to play me like i'm just sitting here not doing anything because when it comes to work i work hard as hell i work hard as hell my husband will tell you right now my husband lived to work six days a month like he works six days a month my husband be like you the hard worker you the hard worker i wake up early i go to bed late i stay up i edit i have business meetings y'all i am like trying to be like a full-time 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 content creator and it is a job so it really uh, it really hurts my feelings when people say stuff like you know about me like this but regardless of what anybody say i'm not gonna let it get to me because i know what i do i know what i do and one thing for sure the same way that I have inspired so many other mamas and so many other girlies and even guys y'all because guys be telling me on TikTok you to inspire me to start dating a life like it's crazy they'll be telling me like I think my life boring I think my life boring too but I film it and other people want to see and that's what I'll tell anybody it doesn't matter how boring your life is pick up your camera set your tripod up and film because we want to see I'm a nosy person okay I love seeing what people do in their day-to-day -day life pick up your camera get on your zoom because we want to see we don't care how boring your life is pick up your camera get on your zoom we want to see we want to see y'all and like it's crazy that i literally have i feel like i have a whole family on the internet because literally people be like can you send us the link to your amazon registry we want to send you stuff for your house people bought my kids stuff for they um well people bought carter stuff for his birthday um literally it's crazy like the support is unmatched and another thing i'm gonna tell y'all the support that you're looking for when you start content creating the support you're looking for is not going to come from people that you know people that you know are going to scroll on your stuff and of course you can see that they're viewing it because tiktok like like a platform like tiktok has a future on it where you can see who's viewing your stuff they're going to view it they're not going to like it they're not going to engage and i remember when i first started making tiktok somebody that i know put um this thing up and it was like y'all be look i be seeing y'all on tiktok looking stupid talking about hey guys and you only got seven likes don't let stuff like that discourage you don't let naysayers like that discourage you because at the time yes i was only getting like seven likes and 70 views but look at me now like on youtube instagram tiktok all over these platforms my stuff is just blowing up so with hard work comes results so don't let anybody detour you discourage you from being who you want to be doing what you want to do because it's possible y'all i don't care what nobody say it's possible but yeah you guys i just wanted to hop on here and talk about you know like do a little pillow talk we're gonna like test the waters and see let me know if y'all like this or not because i have so many questions and stuff i want to answer because y'all be asking and i feel like pillow talk is like a more like laid back vibe and i can push these out more often i know i can give y'all like at least one or two of these a week as long as y'all give me topics i could just talk about it and then go ahead and upload that because yeah i just feel like this is some like real chill like it feels like we on facetime and we just talking i'm just in my bed chilling talking to y'all so yeah we're gonna call it pillow talk and now i don't know if this is gonna be episode one because it's not a full episode but we're gonna see we're gonna test the waters and see how it go whatever y'all me to talk about like in the pillow talk make sure y'all leave it in the comments so that we can you know when i open the comments i have some stuff to talk about and i'm talking about what y'all actually want to hear and a lot like a lot of people be want to hear about being like a young mom a young wife a young entrepreneur i'm not a full-time entrepreneur y'all please just know like um i'm trying to get there but as far as right now like i make extra money on the side or whatever but my husband is the um what you call it 
don't know. He pay everything. I don't like my money. It fluctuates too much to pay anything. But yeah, y'all, let me know what you guys want to talk about. And I'm just so excited, you guys. I want to do a virtual vision board party with like everybody so that we can all build our vision boards up for 2024 we can put down all our goals because i made a vision board for 2023 y'all and honestly a lot of things that i put on my vision board i've already surpassed those things like hitting 10,000 subscribers hitting 50,000 subscribers i mean 50,000 followers on tiktok um making i said i wanted to make at least ten thousand dollars this year from content i've already surpassed that goal so i need y'all to get in y'all zoom and we got to do our cre our vision board because one thing about it, if you speak positive stuff, positive results are going to come. It literally says in the Bible, like the power of the tongue, your power of the tongue, the tongue is very powerful. So what you speak will come to pass. If you speak negatively, negative things will come. So you got to speak positive. You got to speak life into your situations. You got to speak life into everything. You got to speak life into this content. Like you got to just got to do it, babe. Like, you but yeah bestie girls i'm gonna go ahead and end this video because i need to film another video go ahead and start another vlog i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in the next video bye besties